Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Laura and welcome to my channel. Today is day 23 of Face Mask Tober and I have a real special one for you today. My parents went to New Zealand earlier this year. When they were over there, it was winter here and it was summer over there. So they were over there during the nice time. And uh, my mom knows how much I love face masks and she actually brought me one back. It is by a company or a brand called Pure Source. And it is the Rotorua, Rotorua, I did the uh, lookup of how to pronounce that and I still can't say it, um, Thermal Mud with Kiwi Fruit Cleansing Mask. And I believe it is a clay mask, it says it's for all skin types. And it did come with like a little book here that kind of talks about it. So let me just look at here and see if I can find some interesting information. It says our thermal mud products are especially formulated to be gentle on your skin and are suitable for all skin types. A treatment with the thermal mud is a relaxing experience and leaves you with a bright complexion, feeling clean and luxurious. Uh, let's see here. Benefits of using the thermal mud. They're putting that other word with the R in front of it, but because I can't say it, I'm not going to say it. Okay, so it says the benefits are it's relaxing. It's cleansing and it's detoxifying. On the detoxifying part here kind of says after the mud is applied it dries, creates a barrier which then increases the temperature of your skin. This heat encourages the blood circulation and the blood flow which flushes the toxins out of the small veins near the surface of the skin leaving the skin clean and refreshed. I didn't know that that's how clay mud mask works. So that's nice to know that. Uh, the ingredients in here are that Manuka honey, remember we looked up that one, uh, says it's soothing, calming, and hydrating, reduces redness, and great for sensitive skin. Kiwi fruit, which is great for deep cleansing of the skin, rich in vitamin C and E, and colostrum, colostrum, it's C-O-L-O-S-T-R-U-M. Uh, feeds, refreshes, and brightens the dull skin. How to use the mask. Smooth a light even layer of the mud mask on damp skin, avoiding eye area. Leave it to dry for about 20 to 30 minutes. Remove with warm water and apply any pure source, pure source moisturizer, which I don't have any moisturizer from them, so I'll just have to use my own. Uh, paraben free, not tested on animals, no harmful chemicals, and it's made in New Zealand. And they kind of got like a whole line of other products here. So it's actually pretty hard to get out of there. Um, we're going to have to see how hard it is to keep on your face. I thought it would be a little bit more wet. Although they did get this, like I said, at the beginning of the year, so I had it for a while. Okay, I think I've got as much of it out of the little thing as I can possibly get. I'm just going to kind of show it to you here. I so said it's kind of dry. Look how it's just kind of like, like gelatin. <laughs> I don't even know if I'll need a brush. Yeah, I don't think my brush is going to work. So we're going to use my hands. It smells really, really good. Yeah, that smells delicious. If it said you could eat it, I'd probably test it. But it doesn't say that, so I'm not going to do that. It's pretty late, but I don't mind staying up, waiting for it to dry. I'm letting you know what I think. Um... I just wanted to get this done tonight so I can get it up for you tomorrow, which is today now. Even if this does absolutely nothing, and as you can tell, my face really cleared up a lot uh, after using that charcoal mask from yesterday. So pretty good mask. I 
actually might have a little bit left over. Because it's spreading really good. Like I thought it would be really hard to spread. It's working out pretty good with the hand. Normally don't like putting mask on with my fingers because I just don't like them getting all up in your nails and all that. Which by the way you can see I took off the ridiculous nails. I scrubbed the hands like you wouldn't believe to get off the self tanner and most of it came off. They're really dry now but I still have like some marks right along where my fingers are. But yeah, I scrubbed. That went on really well, way better than I thought it would. What I originally saw the uh, product, I didn't think it would spread very well. I thought it would be very dry, but it, as you could tell, it went on really well. And I have some left over, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, we're going to go ahead and set the timer here because I can tell it's already starting to dry. I'm going to try to go for the full 30 minutes just because I want to get the most I can out of the mask. If it gets too dry and I feel like I need to take it off, um, we'll come back before I wash it off. So we're going to do 30. All right. So we have started the countdown. I'm going to go watch TV and we will be back when it's done. All right, so it has been the 30 minutes. Um, it is not irritating my skin at all. It also is not completely dry yet. You can tell it's still wet right there around my nose. Um, it's very porous. Let me zoom you in a little bit here. Hopefully that's not too close for you. But as you can tell, like it's really um, showing the spots where it's definitely pulling oil out of your skin. At least that's how I would describe it because those spots are actually dark. So I'm assuming that means that they are somewhat, uh, you know, wet or oily or whatever. And that's why they're dark like that. So I just think that's kind of interesting. Alright, so I'm going to go wash this off real quick and then we will be back to go over what I think about it. Alright, so we have the face mask washed off now. So just to go over the benefits of this mask, it says that it's relaxing, cleansing, and detoxifying. And so far I agree with all of those. It was relaxing to wear. It didn't get like real dry or tight or itchy because sometimes uh, clay masks kind of do that where it starts to get to a point where it's so dry that it like itches and you want to take it off because you can feel your skin just like getting all the oil sucked out of it but uh, this wasn't too bad um, cleansing my face feels really really clean and I know that it came off well because I had used like a charcoal clay mask towards the beginning of this month and the next day when I used a toner on my face with like a little cotton pad thing it was black so 
when I had washed off that clay mask, that charcoal one, not all of it got washed off. And I kind of thought that my skin looked like it was still dark in some spots. So I should have went and washed it off again, but I didn't. So this time I went in with toner again on a little cotton pad and I wiped my face off and looked at it and there was nothing on there. So the face mask completely washed off this time. It didn't get like stuck in my pores or my crevices of my face or anything like that. So that's good. And then it says detoxifying. So that definition here, they say that uh, having the mud all over your face, um, then as it dries, it makes a barrier, increases the temperature of your skin, the heat uh, encourages your blood circulation and blood flow, which flush out the toxins. And then that leaves your skin clean and refreshed. And I definitely feel clean. I wouldn't say I feel refreshed right now because I do feel that my skin is dry after doing that and I need to put lotion on. And it says to do that in here. It's, it's not saying that your skin is going to feel moisture, moisturized after this. It is saying that you will need to apply moisturizer. So I will do that as soon as we're done. But I have no doubt that I will feel refreshed after doing that. Because I do feel like a little itchy right now. Like I need some moisturizer on my face. But I wanted to go over this with you first. This was great. And I'm really excited that I have enough left to do another um, round again too. Sometime soon, hopefully. That way it doesn't get too old in that little container. I thought it smelled really good. I loved the smell of it. They're soothing, calming, hydrating. I really can't agree with the hydrating. It says that the Manuka honey in it was soothing, calming, and hydrating. Reduced redness. Great for sensitive skin. My skin was a little red after washing it off. Obviously, you're you know, scrubbing your face or whatever. I wouldn't say that it's hydrating just because it's like a mud mask. I don't know if I would agree with that term. But... But yeah, that's everything for this mask. I really love it. I'm excited to use what I have left. Um, maybe there'll be a day where I order some more. Considering the fact that it comes from New Zealand, I'd have to look into that with shipping costs. I don't know how much I'd be willing to pay for that. But yeah, I really like this mask. So let me know if you've actually ever tried it. You know, I have no idea where all my viewers are from. Maybe you're from the New Zealand area and you have tried it. Maybe someone's going over there. You can have them pick it up for you. I don't know. Whatever you got going on, it's great. Give this uh, video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And until tomorrow's next Space Masktober video, I hope you're having a great day, night, weekend, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Bye, everybody.